In many ways this feels like the uh, first uh, video of the uh, series, even though it's the ninth video, because we're going to start the actual project uh, that has the user interface that is is the uh, keeping track of the DVDs. So I press new project and give it a meaningful name like uh, DVD base and press OK and we're going to need to have a pretty big form for this so we need to initially unpin uh, the three panes the toolbox and the solution explorer and the properties pane so I can make a really big form so let's drag this baby out and then now uh, I'll get the uh, main organizing uh, component we're going to use which is a container Let's see where's the containers there we go it's the uh, tab control so I drag that out to the form and you have to be careful if you select this guy you can't move this around but if you select the outside guy you can move it around so you gotta watch where you're you're clicking so drag this up to the corner unfortunately there's no uh, docking container so we need to drag that up to the corner and then expand it out to be as close as possible to the size of the full form Oh, that looks pretty good. And now I'll uh, repen the uh, three panes since we need to use those quite a bit. And the first thing we have to do, since this is a uh, uh, MySQL connector slash net project, is add that reference. So I right click and click on add reference and go over to the .NET and go down to uh, mysql.data click OK and that adds mysql.data to the references so we have access to the code in that DLL and then double click on the form and uh, Add a using uh, I think it's MySQL dot data dot MySQL client. We ought to just save this before I uh, lose changes or something. So I click on the save all and I save it to my standard directory. And now we want to add uh, tab pages. I don't know if it hurt anything to change the name of the form at this point, but I think it's better to give this a FRM main. My probably should have done this right away because we'll probably be popping up other forms as a pretty complex project and give the tab control a name of uh, TC DVD base And then we need to go down to the tab pages collection 
I bring up the tab page collection editor. And switch this organization to A to Z. I hate those category things. And the first uh, tab page will have the text uh, query edit. And give it a name of uh, TP query edit. And then for the next page, we want a name of uh, TP DVD input or DVDs input. And uh, text of uh, DVDs space input. And now we need to add a third page and give that a text of uh, genre input. and a name of uh, TP for tab page genre input. Uh, add another one. Give that a name of uh, TP location input. And a text of uh, location input and then I want to add a page that I found really useful just call it utility and this is uh, just general functions for cleaning up things in the database and uh, you know things like that create all tables if you want to reset all the table values and I found once I create this page I start adding so many functions to it that I actually start running out of space on the page which is ironic because initially I thought I'll probably never use a utility page and the final page we want to add is uh, TP listing which will probably be one of our most used pages for looking up uh, movies, especially movies by specific criteria. And now if we look at the top we have our uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tab page. If I save this and run it see we have the nice tabs on uh, the actual program and probably that's enough for uh, one video I did a previous video that almost exactly mimics this called Alexa and uh, it, the main difference is instead of using MySQL connector slash net I'm using uh, SQL Server and ADO.net and uh, there's a lot of parallels but there's a lot of new stuff too and one of the new things I want to do is make the video shorter so you don't have to sit here for an hour watching a video well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'll see you in the next video and if you enjoyed it I'd appreciate it if you subscribe